Hi guys, Kian here from the Reaper Rocker Vlog, and welcome back to Album Review Series. This time, we will have Metal Legends. And this is not just a band, this is one of the big four in the trash metal scene. Requested by Aldous, my friend. And it's none other than Metallica on their latest album, Hardwired to Self Destruct. And before watching this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as always so you can receive all the album reviews in the future and also my future vlogs. And don't forget to follow my social media accounts. Hardwired to Self Destruct is the 10th studio album by Metallica. Released as a double album on November 18, 2016. It is their first studio album in 8 years following Death Magnetic, marking the longest gap between the two studio albums in the band's career. Hardwired to Self Destruct was produced by Greg Fiddleman who engineered and mixed that magnetic. Mock into the Flame is my most favorite track in Metallica's Hardwired to Self-Destruct. This track has an influence of thrash metal sound. You can evidently see that on the intro of the song. And I love the intro so much that it makes more catchy in the ears. And I could say that it kind of relieves the Metallica's trash metal heydays. I could say also the guitar works of Kirk and James, they did an excellent job. The riffs gives me an excitement and make my moshing experience harder. The bars drums work perfectly with the guitars and adds the flavor of heaviness. And don't forget also, Robert's bass play, it amplifies the guitar so much that makes the song more awesome. Now That We're Dead is my another favorite track in this album. This song has a more heavy metal influence sound rather than thrash metal uh, influence. And I love the to sing the chorus so much and it's very easy to remember. I love the guitar riffs and it satisfies my ears so much, especially on the guitar solo riffs. Lars did the perfect drumming also and the double pads gives me a satisfaction to listen the song over and over again. On Halo and Fire, I love the intro of the song. I love how it transitions the intro, the heaviness of the song until the first verse starts. The intro of the song started with the heavy riffs and heavy hitting of the drums, then slows down in the mid parts before the verse starts. The song emphasizes on the slow tempo and with heavy riffs. And like this uh, song is like a uh, kind of heavy metal with a groove metal approach and I like it so much since it posts a different approach on this song since the other three tracks or the first three tracks in the album post more with the trash metal vibe. For the honorable mentions in the album, I have a lot of albums or songs to discuss. So let's start with Atlas Arise, Hardwired, and Spit Out the Bone. The first two tracks and the ending track in this album unleashes the onslaught of trash metal madness. This track reminds me of uh, Natalika's Trash Era, and it has a speed tempos and heavy rips and heavy beat down of the drums. I could say if you're a fan of Metallica 80s era, then this track suits for you. And this track's really uh, nice to listen and 
it really glorifies the or rejuvenates the old Metallica sound. I like it so much that uh, you will uh, just able to head back with these uh, tracks and I like it so much. Dream No More. This track is a decent track and I could say that the melody reminds me of Metallica's Sad But True from the Black Album. From the drum works as well as the guitar riffs, they did a decent job and you won't stop listening it. Confusion, the drum works in this song really outstands. I love the how it presents and with the intro of the song, the melodies of the drums, it's like they're throwing like a machine gun in your ears and kills you an instant and kills you with awesomeness and followed by the guitar riffs it makes you uh, really an irritasm so much here comes revenge this song reminds me of metallica's black album era the heaviness of this song is just right and i love the guitars as well as the drum works it worked very well and I love also to sing along the chorus as well. My least favorite tracks in the album are Man Unkind, Am I Savage, and Murder One. These three tracks, I could say that they are least interesting to listen. The tracks are just right and the guitar riffs and drums are not powerful to match up the other tracks. Sometimes the melodies of this song is kind of generic that lessen my interest to listen. And there's nothing special of this three tracks unlike with the other tracks. Now it's time for the verdict. What would I say for Metallica's Hardwired to Self-Destruct? I could rate this album as... 4 out of 5. I could say that this album has a mix of 80s Metallica vibe and the Metallica's Black Album vibe. I think Metallica wants to reach their 80s thrash metal fans as well as the Black Album fans to the present. Through this album, we could say that they offer both music styles and no doubt that they did it very well. For me, the this one of the album has more powerful tracks to offer. The trash metal vibe has more to offer in the this one than uh, this two. And most of my favorites could be found in this two. But for some reason, I don't really get it why Metallica split the songs into two discs. But Metallica did it once again. I could say that they reviving the trash metal vibe since that pandemic. And we know that they had the mixed reactions and feedbacks from Load to Saint Anger era. And we could say that they just enjoying their music very well and they're relieving the how the Metallica's sound before. Okay, so we're already done the album review in this episode and let me know your thoughts for Metallica's Hardwired to Self-Destruct album. Just feel free to comment down below and if you have a request for an album review, then don't hesitate to comment it below and I will uh, surely read it and entertain it. Okay, so we're already done. And this is Kian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog. Take care always. Let's beat up COVID-19. Stay at home. Wash your hands. We'll see you each other again. Rock on, Philippines.